Hi, I'm Charlie O'Brien, Senior Vice President at the Association of Equipment Manufacturers and work in the ag sector. And I'm here today with Benjamin Duck, who is our Director of Market Intelligence. Benjamin, today I think we're going to talk about the Agriculture Alliance and Agri Evolution. And it's, it's with 13 different um, associations from around the world. And we've got an alliance with those, and we, we've been working with them for, what, probably a couple of years now? Yeah, several years. And, and you work in the market intelligence area, and you've been working with these alliance partners, if you will, for um, some of the market intelligence information that we get to share information back and forth. And I think you've been working on a survey uh, recently, and so maybe you could talk a little bit about the survey and the, the objectives of that survey and how that's going. Sure. Uh, well, first of all, we have a lot of products that we do together with uh, AgriEvolution. Uh, they're all available on our website, uh, but this particular product is a survey that we sent out to the senior management of the agricultural uh, machinery industry, and we asked them relevant uh, questions with regards to the industry, such as the evaluation of business, the order intake, uh, the mood of the farmer, the turnover, and we get about more than 250 responses uh, worldwide. Each organization that is a member of AgriEvolution sends out the survey uh, to their members and then the information gets aggregated anonymously. Uh, we do the survey twice a year, once in April, once in October, I believe, and this is actually the 11th time that we have done the survey. Oh, really? Well, if you've got the results, then did you see anything in particular from the results that were of interest? Yeah, actually, we were quite surprised to see an uptick in the business climate index, uh, indicating uh, favorable business for the future. Uh, the index actually had an uptick of seven points compared to the previous measurements last October, uh, coming in at a break-even. Now, we must say that uh, the overall climate index is composed of a current uh, component and a future component. When we look at the current component, uh, we're actually seeing a decrease of two points compared to uh, the October results, and about 40% of respondents still view their uh, current situation as unfavorable worldwide. The uptick in the, business current, in the overall business climate uh, can really be attributed to a uh, short-term positive outlook of uh, our respondents. So we feel that senior management, globally at least, uh, is fairly positive about the future, oh, or at really? least the next six months. Absolutely. Well, you know, that's certainly a surprise based on where we're at in the United exactly. States. There's not as, as much optimism, I think, going on here as we look at some of the things that are happening here of late, especially in production ag, row crop uh, uh, activity that's going on. Do you see, and, and does the survey results, do they <clears throat> provide you with information? You know, you've kind of talked about the macro perspective right. and kind of consolidating of the in industry. So do you see it from a regional perspective? And if, if so, is there, are there, do you see differences between one region and the other? Absolutely. So I guess from a global perspective, things seem to have spruced up a little bit. But looking at the different regions, uh, the differences become much more pronounced. We see that in Asian markets, uh, the markets are much more dynamic. Uh, we see an uptick, especially in China, uh, India, and Turkey. But when we look at the more established markets in the United States and Europe, as well as Japan, uh, the current situation is still uh, very negative. Okay. Okay. So, so as you look at, at Asia and you look around the world, so what does that really mean? You know, we're in the manufacturing association, and as are the other associations from around the world. So, as as you look at Asia in different parts of the world. What, what does this mean overall from, from a manufacturing perspective and maybe specifically around Asia? Because everybody's quite frankly interested in some other parts of the world and what's going right. on there. And Asia is one that, that usually comes up on the radar screen that people are interested in looking at. And so do you see anything in particular around what's happening in that marketplace? Uh, yeah, uh, when we looked a little bit deeper into the data for uh, the Asian markets, and more specifically the Chinese markets, we see that this optimism seems to be driven by an increase in order intake, as well as a reduction in financial restrictions. But a really other uh, big uh, driver of this are, is the government support uh, of the Chinese government. When we look back in 2005, I believe uh, Chinese government support was close to about 17 billion RMBs. And today, in, well, at least in 2014, we were closer to 170 billion. So that's a radical increase. And more importantly, when we look at uh, what these subsidies contain, we see that uh, there's a fast-growing aspect that deals specifically with, buy, with supporting the farmers to buy uh, new equipment as opposed to uh, just uh, subsidies for input prices. And, this is understandable. Uh, the Chinese government is supporting a very important industry for themselves. When we look at the uh, drivers of the markets in the last couple of years, 
we see that more soybeans are going to China. Uh, it only makes sense that China is supporting its own agricultural industry to feed its ever-growing population. So Benjamin, if you want to get more information on the survey information or additional information, where would you go to get that? Uh, you can simply visit our website, am.org slash agreports. Okay, great. Thanks, Benjamin. Appreciate it. Benjamin Duck and Charlie O'Brien from AEM. Appreciate your attention today, and have a great day.